All right. <laughs> Camera wasn't on, but I just took a slip into the water, as you can tell. I'm glad it's cold and uh, good. Yeah, good. I hate fly fishing so much. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. I'm excited today. It's, uh, well, first of all, I'm going trout fishing. I'm going to one of the most beautiful areas, Cherokee National Forest, Hiwassee River area. I'm actually gonna fish the, fish the Hiwassee River today. I'm parked right in front of it right now. I'm staring at it, so kinda wanna wrap this up <laughs> and get to fishing. Let me just show you. There it is in all its glory. And there's no generator on right now, which means this should be prime time for trout fishing here. Uh, I'm gonna start by fly fishing. Uh, I'm gonna, you know, I've been I've been watching the Orvis videos on YouTube, and I'm gonna I'm gonna give a shot with my woolly bugger and see if I can land a trout on a fly rod, which I've never done before. Uh, but otherwise, I have my spinning rod, and we're gonna try to hit some brown trout today. Uh, this is catch and release today, so it's all delayed harvest right now here in Hawassi. So we're, we're going to be treating these fish as gently as possible and trying to get them back in the water as quickly as possible. Uh, but it's a it's a great day. It's overcast. It's going to be overcast all day and uh, should be fun. Stay tuned. All right, this first area seems like it'd be a good spot to try fly fishing. Um... All right, the water shouldn't be that cold. It should be able to just kind of get in here and see how it is. Ooh, we've got to make sure I don't slip and fall, but otherwise. Let's drop it in there. Oh! <laughs> camera wasn't on but i just took a slip into the water as you can tell i'm glad it's cold and uh good yeah good i hate fly fishing so much i'm gonna go get dried off and then uh change my shirt i think if i have another change of shirt i don't think i do maybe i do um this is the dangerous part, truly, of waiting, is that you slip and fall and you have waders on. Luckily, I don't have waders on, so. All right, I tried a couple with my fly rod, but no success, and I wanna still try this area, so I'm gonna try to use my spin cast, see what we get. Not sure what's down there. I think it's a lot of wood, so.
Not sure if this area is great to start casting through. Just given that there's a lot of places where I might get stuck, but we'll see. If I can get a, find a good route, maybe. Oh, there we go. Nice. Yeah. Let me get my... Oh, got off! <laughs> so I'm going to change over to this. Uh, and this is why I buy Ozark. Alright, if you're not familiar with the brand. This is the brand, Ozark Trail. And these are the rooster tails they make. They cost $1. A rooster tail, rooster tail, which I do have. I have another one here that I'm going to try later when the possibility of getting stuck isn't so much. And I actually like this one a lot. I had a lot of success uh, two weeks ago near here. Catching trout. Uh, but when they get stuck and you lose it, which happens often. I mean, you, know, you got to think about there's rocks everywhere. You're casting into areas where you're not really seeing as well. You're trying to find a channel and uh, you know, you are gonna lose these. So I rather lose one that's a dollar <laughs> than one that cost me four dollars. Oh, there we go. We got one. Cast it into a different area. And we got one. Nice. Okay. All right. There we go. Pretty little brown trout. I will get him back in the water in two seconds. Just want to see him. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> Nice little brown. Uh, I'm gonna try to get in here. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, that's a good fish. Yeah, that's a good one. Oh no, it's stuck. Come on, fish. <laughs> Unstick yourself. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, I gotta go rescue this fish now. It's deep there, dude. There we go. Oh, I saved your life. There we go. Got him loose. Oh, 
got some fly fishermen over there. Probably having the hardest time in their life. <laughs> Much respect to them. I'm gonna make a few casts over here. Uh, but. Ah, once again, got off. Ah. I probably have a few more casts before this area slows down like that. That's what I usually noticed. You'll get a few and then, ooh, that was a hit again. They're still striking at it. They're not shying away. Okay, come on, we gotta land one. There we go. That's a good fish. That's a good one. Oh yeah, that's a nice fish. Pretty, pretty brown. Ah, there you go. There he is, he's in the water. All right, I got the heat on blast. Right on my shirt, it's starting to get dry. I'm dry, we are going into the National, uh, Cherokee National Forest. And uh, this is the road to Spring Creek. It's on the other side of the river. Uh, you turn into the Hawassi River if you're trying to get to Reliance on uh, State Road 30. And to get to Spring Creek, you make a right past the Hawassi. You gotta go over the bridge that crosses the Hawassi River. And then you'll see any two roads after that will be Spring Creek Road. And this is it. This is Spring Creek Road. Just follow it and keep going all the way to Campground 3. That is the last spot where they will stop trout. Uh, and from Campground 1 to 3, there are a lot of spots in between. All right, how do I get there without getting torn up by briars. This way. That's a nice deep area right here, maybe, maybe. A little bit of stealth. Oh, did I catch the tree? Ah. Secret for that. Hmm. Now that is a really deep pool down there. trailhead here, so let's see if we can get there.
the things that will spook fish is you getting into the water. That's where he was. Let's see it waking. Oh, got him! Got him! <laughs> yes! Got him! Oh, that is a pretty rainbow trout. Slow down. I am going to kill you, but it's gotta happen on my terms. Oh, you're so alive, it's gonna fucking break my heart. You know they're just not in these deeper pools. Keep that in mind if you do come out here. They are in shallower water. Pretty little trout. Oh, there's one more in here. Let's see if we can get him. Oh, it's twice now. It's new color I'm using. Seems to be all the rage to show you guys. It's another rooster tail. You know, if they do get hit with the hook there, they are out of there. <laughs> but let's see. You never know. Oh, there it is. Oh, there it is. Oh, that's a nice one. That's a nice fish. All right. Oh, wow. That is a nice trout. All right. There's another one. That is number five. It says D max you are allowed. And it's a good decent size.
right, wow, you guys, what a day. I mean, truly, I have I have suffered today for these fish. I was literally submerged on the water within a half an hour of starting to fish at 8.30 a.m. All my clothing fully soaked. I'm freezing, it's still partially wet, and it's getting colder and colder. The temperature's dropping, it's now 56. I've been in a t-shirt this whole time. Uh, so I have earned these fish, uh, five of them in total from Spring Creek. Uh, I told you guys, once you locate them, keep hammering that area. You'll get a few more out of there. They kind of stay together, uh, I guess, for uh, whatever reason. I don't understand the life of a fish, much less a trout. Uh, these are stock trout, so you might be thinking, wow, five. Well, I am going to share with my family as well. I'm not going to eat them all. But uh, these are stock trout. So if you do want to help your native trout, your wild trout, take the take the stock trout take them home eat them they're delicious all right and you're doing a benefit to the wild and native trout in your area in fact a lot of biologists a, a lot of uh, um, wildlife biologists do not actually like the stocking program because of what it does to the wild trout uh, you know I don't know enough about it to have an opinion on it but I, you know I hear things here and there uh, however I do know that I was, I was right, uh, this area is not delayed harvest. You're allowed to keep seven, in fact, and I only took five, so left a few for you guys. Uh, let's head home and cook these bad boys. Get out of this wet clothes and uh, enjoy some tea in the rest of the day. Uh, all right, let's go. I'll catch up with you guys there. So I chopped up all the fish into fillets, which is not hard to do. Uh, I leave the rib bones because they'll pull right off. All right, that's hot. So let's get some oil in there. And I'm not putting any egg wash, just fish right in. It's just to kind of protect the fish itself. All right, so in the pan they go. So again, just a little flour. All right then, it's gonna puff up. Don't worry about it, you're gonna flip it. I go skin side down, but I think once you flour these, it doesn't really matter. All right, and there they go. Take about two minutes on each side. Now, my wife doesn't like fish skin, so this is why I do skin side down first because this will come right off.
All right, guys, I guess we have nothing left now but to taste this amazing trout that I have caught with my bare hands and a rod and a reel and a lure and a fishing license. Anyway. Mmm. This is so good. It truly is. The skin is the best part. Now I know why the dog likes it so much. Tiny bone, but you can eat them. They're crunchy. I actually don't mind them. All right. We're going to eat the rest of these. Thanks for watching. And uh, see you guys on the next one.